Out of Newport News, where detectives are trying to solve a homicide there. And yeah, this after someone shot and killed a man at the Exxon on Jefferson Avenue. Ten of your size, Jason Marks, is there now as police search for a suspect. Jason. And Tom, this is one of those odd cases where police know what the suspect looks like. That's because he was seen in the shooting on surveillance cameras here at the Exxon. Now, officers just have to find him. Uh, it was terrifying. I had a panic attack. The scary moments happened the minute a suspect walked into the Exxon on Jefferson Avenue in Newport News. I was working with the money, so I didn't see anything, but I heard gunshots. Those shots hit a man who died right there in the entranceway before rescue crews could even arrive to help. I saw him lying face down, so I don't know who it was, and saw blood coming from his head, and that's it. I tried not to look too much. Newport News Police are now looking for the person they say fired the shots. They released these photos in hopes someone will know who he is. We want to apprehend the subject as quick as we can. Police say they're not only looking for the shooter, but also a motive. What caused him to fire in the middle of the day, bringing one family a lifetime of pain. Any loss of life, uh, it affects us all. Um, I can only imagine how it would affect the family if it affects us hard. Uh, and that's why we want to make uh, bring closure to the family as much as we can. We and police tell us they'll be back out here tomorrow at 3.30 for a community walk. Now, they have not released the name of that victim. As for the suspect, if you know who he is, give the crime line a call. We're live in Newport News tonight. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.